Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Masculine Diaries for the 13th of July 2023. There's something that occurred to me after I finished the Divine Feminine reading today. The reason why I felt this group of people burning could be because they had a voodoo doll of me with them wherever they went. So that's why I felt it. It just occurred to me right after I finished that reading. I'm still thinking about it, so it might come through in this um, reading too. Anyway, let's see what does Divine Masculine need to hear today. The Naughty Bridge, 32. 11, the Magic Whistle. Amarok 1 in reverse. Amarok is a type of car as well as a type of plane. So yeah, I guess the same things are coming through again. One, one, one. And then two, Prince Charming. Somebody could have been traveling in an official business, possibly with the magic whistle and Prince Charming here. It makes me think of a police officer or a diplomat or something of the sort. Somebody could have diplomatic immunity and they travel a lot. It's possible. This could be the person who... Um, Perished. Could be an air sign because that's what I was getting in the other reading too. Could be a Libra, possibly a Gemini. Could be an Aquarius too, possibly. <sighs> Is this a diplomat who just perished? Is this a diplomat who just perished? Is it? Let's clarify. Was this a diplomat? Yes, it was. This is a yes. So whoever this diplomat was, he could have had a voodoo doll of me for some reason. I don't know why, but um, that's why I felt him dying. Also, this could be somebody who's tied to me energetically in some other way. The wise old lady in reverse. The 11th of December or the 12th of November could be significant. Sagittarius or Scorpio energy. There could be a Sagittarius and a Scorpio involved. Besides this air sign. And also we've got Gargoyle in reverse. This is Libra for me. 25th of January is in Aquarius season. So it could be a Libra or an Aquarius. Or there was a Libra and Aquarius in the plane. A Scorpio, a Sagittarius, a Gemini. There could also be a... Hmm... A diplomat and Sagittarius. There could be a... Um, there could be a spiritualist who works with this diplomat. Sagittarius makes me think of a sage. It makes me think of a witch or a tarot reader or something of the sort. A spiritualist in general. So, this diplomat was working with a spiritualist, possibly against me, and that's why I'm picking this up. These could be people who are working against other people in the spiritual community. This diplomat could be using his diplomatic immunity in order to do nefarious things in multiple countries and get away with it. And that's why this person perished. And this man could have been working with a Scorpio and a Sagittarius in the spiritual community, possibly. Hmm... 4th the M5th year, the dragon here. This is Libra and Aries energy. It could also talk about authority. So this man's either a military man or another kind of diplomat. There we go. Because military men also have immunity against certain things, right? When they travel for war, they can travel to kill people, right? And um, they don't go to jail for that. So it's either a military man or a diplomat, but I ask specifically if it's a diplomat, and it is a diplomat. 23, the Kraken. Or this could be somebody who's tied to a diplomatic mission somewhere. So it could be a soldier, or it could be a security service guy. 23, Kraken, I said three times, I think. 20, Kanotila. Something about this year, 2023, significant. Somebody could have ties to the mob here. And whoever this mobster is, they were also watched by something or someone. 
could be an entity. And when I say entity, it could be an entity in the spiritual sense, or it could be a company or a group watching this man who has diplomatic immunity. I was picking up on something about UNICEF yesterday. So this person could be involved in a UNICEF mission. And I was saying that there are some people who are using the fact that they are part of these groups in order to abuse children rather than help children like they're saying. So we've got the snake in reverse. Whoever the snake is, he was taken out. The gargoyle in reverse, the snake in reverse, Amarok in reverse. Amarok is my enemy number one card. The gargoyle is a fallen angel. It's even fallen in the upright, like I was saying yesterday, let alone in reverse. It's like falling the second time. The snake is in reverse. There's somebody very evil, somebody who was a Luciferian or a Satanist, or somebody who was possessed by Lucifer or Satan himself. And this person <coughs> is the one who perished. This diplomat or military man, Sarah, 15. 15 is the devil again in the Major Arcana, right? There could be a female a male and a female, both devils. 38, the empress of the fairies. Somebody could be presenting themselves as an empress, but they're not. Or this could be your divine feminine <sighs> being in danger because of these people. 39 in Kanyamba, 48, 49. Somebody could be 48 and another person could be 49 or somebody's 48 and turning 39. Possibly in, in um, cancer season. I usually see this as Pisces. But it's water anyway so this could be a water sign this could be somebody who just turned 39 or is about to turn 39 or there are two people one's 38 the other one's 39 31 the troll these could be my trolls or they could be trolling a divine feminine 18 ho oh and all the trolls have perished apparently in a plane crash possibly or some other crash. It could have been nighttime where they were too, but I don't think so. I think this happened just now. And it happened in South Africa, possibly. <coughs> Doesn't have to be though. Yeah, it's true. Did this happen just now? Is this something that happened just now, today? Is this something that just happened? 22 tutor this tutor character kept coming out over and over again in the other reading so there's a tutor involved here somebody whose name is tutor first name second name third name whatever last name <laughs> could be tutor this could again they could be an authority figure or they have some kind of diplomatic immunity this person has the ability to travel from country to country and commit crimes without anything happening to him so there's some kind of immunity there Either it's diplomatic or it's because this person's in the military. This could also be a celebrity who travels a lot. You hear a lot about people, celebrities, musicians who have um, warrants, who have been arrested multiple times, but they still can travel throughout the whole world unencumbered. Most people, if they went to jail once, they can barely set foot outside of their own um, country once this happens because nobody's gonna give you a visa so yeah there's some kind of immunity either because of this person's status or their work <sighs> the lunatic 44 22 and 44 the lunatic clarifying in kanyamba so these people were summoning water spirits and hellhounds that's what I said in the other reading. So it's reiterating what I said in the other reading, basically. What can I do? The sun in reverse, 27. The other reading was 27, 27 minutes long. It's probably going to show up as 27, 28 on YouTube because they usually add a second at the end. But it was 27, 27. 33 and 6, the Prince of Fire. Somebody could be born on the 27th. Also, the 7th of February or the 2nd of July could be significant. 7-7, seven, seven, something about July or the 27th of July. Hmm. Also, there could be a 727 plane involved. 
doesn't have to be. 43 Zion of the Fairy, Libra Energy. 6 the Pegasus. Somebody flew away. 24 King of Swords. There could be an air sign. Like I said, there's an air sign male here somewhere. There could be an air sign female too. Or both of these people are military men or they are public speakers, politicians, diplomats, singers, whatever they are. 27 Simmer. That's also a card that makes me think of South Africa. So yes, this could have happened in South Africa, damn it. 8 Mishipeshu. This could also be happening in North America because Mishipeshu is from North America, right? So it could be in multiple places. And I was getting South America doing the other reading. Uh, two Hodag, 82, somebody be born in 1982. February and August could be significant. Leo and Aquarius could be significant. Taurus and Capricorn could also be significant. So, something shifted here. They wanted to take revenge on others. These people could be causing these kinds of accidents on a regular basis. And now it finally came back to them. The energy was thrown back at them by somebody. And that's why this happened. <sighs> this could also be something that will happen or already did happen. But the way I felt it this morning, earlier today, an hour ago, to be exact, when I'm recording this. This could have just happened. The Temple of Fire and Diana the Fairy. There could be a water sign female involved in this. There's a group of people, 7 to 14 people. With the beast with seven heads here. There could be a married couple. Something took them down or someone. Oh my god, look at the death cards here. Could be a Sagittarius that took them out. Could be somebody from beyond the grave. Or it could just be somebody throwing their energy back to them, like I said. Uh, the righteous cold one in reverse. I feel like this is somebody from beyond the grave. Could be a Scorpio. Could be a Pisces Cancer. Could also be an Aquarius. I don't know why I said Scorpio first. But yeah, it could be a Scorpio too. And the sea lion, 33. There's a very powerful entity or deity they summoned. Oh, this is Aquarius. With the Demiurge here, it could be Lucifer himself. Who took them down the devil himself could have taken them down because they're probably useless to him now who took them down let's clarify who took them down the star reversed aquarius energy again could be an aquarius could be lucifer because this i talked about this before i feel like this is capricorn aquarius cusp the starbuck here and capricorn and aquarius energy makes me think of the industry the music industry specifically Yes, the angel of music took them down. Or just somebody who was an Aquarius and who's crossed over. Look, Capricorn, what did I just say? I didn't even see this card. Yeah. The devil himself took them down. Oops. 